Hi, this is episode 45 of Krondos. I'm your host, Jordan Hudgens. I'm a Ruby dev and the CTO of the DevCamp platform. Congrats on making it to Friday. For my episode at the end of each week, I like to cover topics related to being a freelance developer. And today I'm gonna discuss the top project management tools that I use on coding projects. In preparing for this post, I went through some directories that listed all of the known project management software apps on the market, and to be 100% honest, I was a little bit shocked. There are literally thousands of project management options available to freelancers and to companies in general. Thankfully, I've been able to work for a number of clients and have been able to work with various project management apps through the years, and I wanted to give you a list of the top software options along with their respective strengths and weaknesses so that you can decide for yourself which one is the best fit for your project and for your freelance business. Also, if you've had a good experience with an application that I don't mention, please let me know in the comment section. I'm always looking to try new tools, so let me know if you have any recommendations. The following are six of the top project management tools that I've used. I probably used around a dozen or so in various production applications, but I only wanted to list the ones that, one, I actually used in production projects, so not just playing around with them, so I could give you a full comprehensive review on it. And then two, ones that I had a good experience with and that I'd recommend to others. The first one I'm gonna cover is Basecamp. My favorite application for project management is Basecamp hands down. I'm probably partial to it because its founder, DHH, is also the creator of the Ruby on Rails framework that I use daily. With that being said, Basecamp has a very easy to use interface that's based around to-dos and messages. Here is a set of to-dos assigned to me right now. In addition to project management, I also use Basecamp as my daily planner, where I move each of my to-dos from one day to another. I like how I can have a number of my projects and their respective to-do lists all shown on one page at the same time as shown here. And for when I'm wanting a filtered list of what's assigned to myself, I can see only the projects and the to-dos that I'm tagged with as the owner. For the negatives to using Basecamp, Depending on your prior experience with project management software, Basecamp may not feel very natural. If you're used to using dashboards based on Gantt charts and similar tracking mechanisms, Basecamp takes some getting used to. It has that ability and has the ability to have those kind of features, but you have to use their third-party add-on module in order to have them. However, at its core, Basecamp focuses more on messaging between team members, to-do lists, and scheduling. Also important to note, Basecamp doesn't have the best suite of tools for mobile options. I have its iOS app on my phone, however, it's not the most intuitive, especially compared with a few of its competitors such as Trello. With that being said, Basecamp is still my go-to application of choice when it comes to project management software due to its simplicity, speed, and because I'm drawn to its to-do list structure. Next is Trello. Another great tool that I've used on a large number of projects is Trello. It utilizes a Kanban style of project management. Kanban is a workflow popularized by lean manufacturing proponents, and at a high level, it uses the concept of moving cards through different stages of a project's development until it's complete. Trello essentially gives you a virtual Kanban board and lets you move tasks from each stage of the product development lifecycle. For example, here I'd move a task from being a to-do to being assigned, to working, to under review, and finally to finished. This approach makes it very easy to visualize each task that's assigned to you, and it also has a good interface for managing a team of developers. I also really like how you can add images and attachments to tasks, which lets you encapsulate all of the task conversations, data, and statuses into a single screen. Another bonus that Trello offers is that it works very nicely on smartphones and tablets, so it's easy to track the progress of applications when you're not at your desk. Trello has worked great for me in small to medium-sized projects. However, for larger ones or for complex applications, I usually opt for Basecamp or for the next one on the list, which is LeanKit. 
Back when I was managing an entire IT organization, LeanKit was the software I went to for tracking projects that we were working on. It doesn't have the attractive user interface that Trello offers and it takes longer to learn. However, it worked quite well for me when I was managing very large scale projects, such as enterprise application rollouts to 800 plus employees. Much like Trello, LeanKit utilizes the Kanban strategy of project management. However, it focuses more on the enterprise compared with smaller teams. The mobile and tablet applications offered by LeanKit were intuitive and helped me manage the projects even when I was traveling, which was a really nice bonus. LeanKit's strength is in how well it allows you to nest and organize projects and subprojects. After you've learned how the system works, it's relatively straightforward to manage large teams. One of the biggest negatives of LeanKit was something that I considered very odd. They have a very archaic method for payments that require a bit of manual work and sometimes even having to contact the company to do things like adding new users and that kind of thing. This wasn't a deal killer for me because when I used it, I simply used it for one company. However, it does make it a poor choice for freelancers who want to work multiple projects from the same account. The next one on the list is Pro Workflow. It's one of the more standard project management options for this list of top project management tools. It does a good job of combining features such as timelines, task management, and working with teams. I only worked on one project that utilized Pro Workflow. However, it was a great experience and I don't have any complaints with using the software at all. Next on the list is Rike. I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with Rike as a project management tool. If you're managing a team of developers, Rike is a great application to use. As a project manager, you're able to use it to see the status of each project, along with detailed analytics for every task that's being worked on. However, if you're a developer working on Rike, there is a pretty steep learning curve. I'd like to think I'm pretty adept at understanding how to use new pieces of software. However, I kept getting lost in Rike's dashboard and had a difficult time finding where to post updates to clients and to do daily tasks like that. Eventually, I asked the client I was working with to go through a screen sharing session where we walked through each dashboard that I'd use. With all that being said, Rike is a good option if you're managing a team of freelancers on multiple projects and that's why I put it on this list. Last on the list is GitHub. This may seem like an odd option to put on a list of top project management tools since technically GitHub doesn't market itself as project management software. However, when I'm working on a project that only has developers, I found that using GitHub's issue tracking module doubles as a project management tool. And it really makes sense since some of the largest frameworks and languages are open source projects that base all of their tasks on issues and features that can be easily tracked using GitHub. As you can see here, in the project dashboard, you're able to create issues, which can also be features, assign users to each task, add links, images, and mark an issue as being completed when they're done. Additionally, with experienced development teams, using GitHub to manage a project has the added benefit of making task management pretty efficient. For example, developers can close tasks automatically based on Git commits. And take it from me, the easier you make a piece of project management software to use, the more the development teams are going to like using it. I hope that this has been a helpful list of the top project management tools that you can use in your development projects and that it will help you to decide on what software to use on your next project.